Well, it is a sight to be seen. 60 men hard at work in the kitchen preparing their favorite dish for Team Inc.'s Men Who Cook event. Joining us today in the kitchen is Dominic Thomas, one of the volunteer chefs. Nice to have you here, Dominic. Nice to be here. Trisha. We should mention, though, that you do cook on a regular basis. I You're do not cook. one of those guys. Yes, <laughs> yes. I've always enjoyed cooking, and it comes from my uh, Italian heritage and my mother, and she showed me how to do it, and I try to keep doing it. Very good. So, this is a fun event. There's a lot of sampling, oh. a lot of eating for men. And who might not typically be in the kitchen? You're absolutely right. <laughs> in fact, one of the most interesting things is to see everybody down at Ansonia High School doing their cooking uh, ahead of time. It's interesting to uh, see some of the more amateur chefs <laughs> operating. That's great. And it's a fundraiser for Team Inc. Explain to us uh, what. Team Inc. Is. Team Inc. is a nonprofit that's mm -hmm. been in the Valley for almost 50 years. I think it will be celebrating, celebrating 50 years next, mm -hmm. uh, next year. And it, is, uh, it serves uh, a population that uh, mm -hmm. needs help. It takes care of uh, uh, heating assistance. It mm -hmm. takes care of financial assistance. It helps people with, uh, who have financial problems with foreclosure. It sponsors one of the most popular uh, things called Meals on Wheels, oh, which sure. is great for uh, uh, families and uh, for seniors that are uh, shut-ins. And it has many other programs, and it's very beneficial. And it's part of the Valley Network of Nonprofits, mm -hmm. which is very, very, very helpful to the people in the Valley. So if we check out Men Who Cook, we're going to be supporting a great cause, so yeah, it's definitely absolutely. worth the time. And everyone's got to eat, right? Everybody's got to eat. <laughs> all right, what are we cooking here today? It smells well, wonderful. I do, yes. I'm sauteing all already my pressed garlic, and I always like to press the garlic because I think you get more of the flavor into it. My shallots in butter and uh, flavored olive oil. This is a Tuscan olive oil. And then I will put in, and you can use anchovies, but that's an acquired taste. It is. So <laughs> I'm, gonna put in, I'm gonna put in my shrimp. Uh, sometimes I buy the raw shrimp. This is cooked shrimp, which I've defrosted, and I'm gonna saute the shrimp and try to get it uh, uh, nice and hot. I've gotta get it a little bit up here. And I, the whole point is to blend these flavors. And then we have uh, our, our pasta has been heating because I've already cooked it ahead okay, of time. Okay, that's good. We'll so let me get over TV, here. And... That's fine. <laughs> and you mentioned this is kind of a Greek Italian uh, dish, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> the the flavors, uh, the flavors that I have are feta cheese and extra sharp provolone. Okay. I have kalamata olives. I have the garlic and shallots. I use the uh, butter. I use because uh, butter works well with everything, and of <laughs> course true. you must cook with olive oil. So this one is a Tuscan flavored olive oil. Great. And then the key is when you're all done and you've mixed blended it all together, mm -hmm. uh, the various cheeses and uh, the, the two cheeses, which are one more Greek oriented, the other more Italian oriented, and is to get them blended in well. All right. And then you season to taste, salt and pepper. Um, and uh, I use a little basil too, um, nice. uh, and uh, not not a lot, just just a little to add a little bit of an extra taste to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm thank very you, helpful here. Th thank you, thank you, you for doing me. my <laughs> sautéing. Um, and you want to get obviously you want to get the uh, the cheeses to really melt into it. Mm -hmm. And then I, one of the flavors that I really like to put into it is I use. Crushed up Kalamala olives, Ooh, that'll give and a they salty. they great, gives huh? it the that you're right. It actually, gives it a salty flavor, and it also is part of that sort of Greek and Italian blend that you would put in here. Now you're gonna make this that night. Have you decided what well, you're gonna be cooking? Well, you have to understand that yes, that <laughs> night we have to cook for 200. <laughs> okay. So it's not gonna be this refined, but we cook. Oops, I'm sorry. That's with okay. that, we cook down at. Um, as some of us do, and it's only high school, mm -hmm. and then uh, they are put in the Meals on Wheels trucks or on the, uh, the other trucks, they're brought back, and then we all get together at 6 o'clock on the 26th, Saturday the 26th of uh, April, and uh, people come in, and it's, I think it's $55, you have uh, food, uh, besides that you have the beer, wine, and soda. And you're uh, certainly not going to be soda. hungry, right? You're not going to be hungry, and you're not going to be for lack of entertainment. Now... The key is, now that we've heated everything, and let me, if right. we do that, and this is the, the well, key is right to pour it there, right huh? over. Don't, don't even, don't uh, skimp at all. Get it all right into the, into the pasta. 
Wow, it smells delicious. And also, we should mention there's going to be some great uh, silent auction items. Oh, there's going to be. Yes, they have uh, sports memorabilia. They have uh, restaurants. They have gift baskets. They have a travel item. In fact, I was thinking with the sports memorabilia and Jeter retiring, there might oh, be some hot commodity active, there. active bidding there. <laughs> All right, Diamond, thanks so much for being here. We're going to okay. taste this at the end of the show. The information's up on the screen there. Saturday, April 26th at Warsaw Park in Ansonia. 6 to 11 for tickets. Call 203-736-5420. Very you. good. Thank you. <laughs>